Question number 4 says that identify the greater number wherever possible in each of the following cases. So we've got 5 bits in this question but we have taken the first 4 bits first. So we'll start with the first bit in which we have 4 raised to 3 or 3 raised to 4. We have to compare these two numbers and tell which is greater. So we will have to expand them. We'll take 4 raised to 3 first. And its expansion is found by multiplying 4 3 times as the power is 3. So we write 4 times 4 times 4. Now 4 4s are 16 and 16 4s are 64. So this is the expansion of 4 raised to 3. Now we will expand 3 raised to 4. That is 3 is to be multiplied 4 times. Now 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27 and 27 times 3 is 81. So from the expansions we can clearly see that 3 raised to 4 is greater than 4 raised to 3. So this is the answer for the first bit. Going on to the next bit which is the second bit we have 5 raised to 3 or 3 raised to 5. We will expand 5 raised to 3 first. That is 5 is to be multiplied 3 times. So we know that 5 5s are 25 and 25 times 5 is 125. Then we will expand 3 raised to 5 wherein 3 is to be multiplied 5 times as the power is 5. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and times 3. So we know that 3 when multiplied 4 times to itself gives us 81. Then 81 multiplied with 3 will give us 243. So from the two expansions we can clearly say that 3 raised to 5 is greater than 5 raised to 3. Now coming to the third bit, in here we have 2 raised to 8. That is 2 is to be multiplied 8 times. So we get that as 2 times 2 which is 4. 2 times 2 which is 4 again. 2 times 2 4 and 2 times 2 4 again. So then we get 4 times 4 which is 16, 4 times 4 which is 16 again. So 16 times 16 is 16 square and that is nothing but 256. So this is the expansion of 2 raised to 8. Now we'll have to expand 8 raised to 2 which is nothing but the square of 8 and we know that the square of 8 is 64. So in this case we can clearly say that 2 raised to 8 is greater than 8 raised to 2. We'll go on to the fourth bit now. In fourth bit, we have to expand 100 raised to 2. That is, 100 is to be multiplied 2 times. So we get the expansion as 10,000. Now, the next number is 2 raised to 100. So, which is a very large number because the power is 100. We can write 2 raised to 100 as 2 raised to 10 and this whole raised to 10 because the powers will get multiplied and will give us the power as 100 back again. So we will first try to know what is the value of 2 raised to 10. So we will multiply 2 10 times to itself we get 2 raised to 10 to be equal to 1024. So that would mean 2 raised to 100 will be equal to 1024 multiplied 10 times which obviously will be a very very large number. So in this case we can clearly say that 2 raised to 100 is greater than 100 raised to 2. So we have solved the first 4 bits. We will go on to the 5th bit. In the fifth bit, we first have 2 raised to 10. So as we had already calculated that when 2 is multiplied 10 times to itself, we get 1024. And the next number is 10 raised to 2. That is 10 square, which is nothing but 100. So from the two expansions that we have got, we can clearly say that 2 raised to 10 is greater than 10 raised to 2. And this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap. 
a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers